What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, oh, you know I am so tired. I am so tired. Burning the oil on both ends, around the middle, on the side, and up the back. Whew. But it's Friday night. And uh, I'm about ready to go to bed as soon as I finish doing this fireside chat. Shout out to everybody who uh, joins my live stream. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, it is already the 11th of October. We are a month less than, yeah, actually exactly a month away from playing the Eagles in Dallas. It's crazy how fast the damn NFL season goes. You know, we, it seems like we wait forever for the season to get here. We're already in week number six. We have so many key games this weekend. The 49ers kind of saved their season, beating Seattle last night. They went to, um, you know, lost that one. I think it would have been pretty ugly uh, for them, but they got the win. The Cowboys can take a great step forward if they can find a way to win with all of the injuries that they've had. And, you know, this is going to sound crazy when I say this, but the injuries that we have, fortunately, most of them have not been season enders. And what you're getting here, you know, what Jerry said about Zeke, you know, we're trying to save him. Okay, we're trying to save him for down the road, which I talked about earlier that, when you look at past experiences for us, the running game in the playoffs has been non-existent. Our running game in the playoffs was basically the running game that you saw the first two weeks. Seriously. And it's hard to win when you cannot run the football at all. And so, I don't know if Jerry was just pulling that one out of his ass or if that was really the plan where they're saying, you know, we're going to get Rico some carries and stuff. He's young and all that. <clears throat> we're going to try and keep Zeke, you know, healthier longer for the stretch run. And then we've got Dallas Cook. I don't know. I don't know if that's the plan or not. But what I do know is getting these young guys some experience now, you know, if you can get Tyron Wheat, you know, who played pretty well last week, if you can get Goldston, you know, play, who played really, really good in relief. And then we end up getting DeMarcus Lawrence back where everything doesn't have to necessarily be, be all DeMarcus Lawrence. I said Marcus Ware, excuse me. DeMarcus Lawrence back. Um, and if you get Marshawn Nealon back, then you've got a rotation of some experience and guys that hopefully won't be completely worn out. That would be the hope that you have in that, through the course of time um, and experience that by the time you get to the playoffs, if you make it that far, it's really, that, that roof has kicked my ass, um, that you really have something to work with. The funny thing is, is much like last week, this really feels like a deja vu because basically they're like, the Cowboys got no chance. The Lions are coming in to get revenge, they're very physical, the Cowboys are beat up, you know, they've got better coaching, they got a better running game, they've got all of these things that are head and shoulders better than the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but isn't that what they said about the Steelers last week? That the Steelers were a great team, that, you know, they, they literally compared Justin Fields and Pat Mahomes' numbers on ESPN. They did a sales job on you to let you know that the Cowboys suck. And yet, somehow the Cowboys get a win. That's the great thing about football. It's really unpredictable. The funniest thing is how the Eagles, first of all, how the Eagles are still picked to be the division winner, because everybody keeps talking about all this talent that the team has, but I believe they're three and eight in their last 11 games. Three and eight. They have been terrible. They have not recovered 
for whatever it was that happened last year. And they literally, the only thing they got going for them right now is Saquon. You can't say Hurts is going for him. You can't say the offensive line because that offensive line doesn't look like it used to. You can't say the defense is better. Their defense is one of the worst in the NFL. And it's crazy how quickly that team has imploded. You know, it's funny because I remember doing some years back, and I need to do this again, but I had basically gone through teams that had lost the Super Bowl, how they were two years and three years after, and I compared all the numbers. And if you think about it, think about the Carolina Panthers that were 15-1, and one, went to the Super Bowl with Cam Newton. I don't think they've been back to the playoffs since then. Think about the Atlanta Falcons. When the Atlanta Falcons, of course, they ended up going to the Super Bowl with Matt Ryan and everything else. And, you know, within a couple of years, Dan Quinn's fired from them. Um, you can look at everybody but basically Kansas City, that two and three years out from losing the Super Bowl, the teams are actually really, really bad. If I remember right, I don't think any team that went to the Super Bowl, I think by average, by year number two, that they were averaged three less wins than what they had when they went to the Super Bowl. And I think after three years, it was like four and a half. I've got to go back through and, and redo that. The only team that really skewed that was actually the Kansas City Chiefs, was the, one of the few that ended up being um, better or at least holding serve. So you can see the Eagles have definitely gone downhill and following that same trajectory. But they do have a cake schedule. They could turn that thing around. But if they lose to, oh, the Cleveland Browns, wow. So we got that game at 1 o'clock, and I can't wait for it. Our Cowboys, like I said, they pretty much have said the Cowboys got no chance at all. And that's the reason why I think they've got a good chance. Are you good people? I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And remember, tell the people you love how much you love them. Because you might not get the chance again. And I really love you guys. <sighs> Tomorrow will be another busy day. Mm. Peace out.